on a warm, sunny afternoon last week, I went to one of Ann Arbor's city pools knowing full well I would not be allowed to swim. That's the sound of some serious dog paddling, but the swimmer would probably just call it paddling if he could speak. It's a black lab that just retrieved a tennis ball from the deep end. Paper day is the end of the human swimming season here at Fur Park, but then the pool stays open for two more days and the only swimmers allowed are dogs. A few dozen canine customers in all shapes, colors, and sizes are here, some of them wearing little life jackets. Jimmy, come here! Jimmy, come Normally, the no running rule is strictly enforced, but good luck with that today. A fluffy black and white Australian shepherd is racing around the outer edge of the place, and he's dry as a bone. His owner, Kim, and I chatted while we watched. What's your dog's name? Jimmy. I heard you saying Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, was we that call him Jimmy Buffett, Jimmy Johns, <laughs> Jumanji, you know, just anything. <laughs> so but his name is really Jimmy Barker. Yes, Kim's last name is Barker, and Jimmy is seven years old. Every year I mean to do this, and this year I put it on my calendar, and I'm like, we're doing it. I mean, I've never seen my dog swim before, and he's just so excited. Look at him just greeting all of the dogs, and yeah, hopefully eventually we'll be able to get him in the kiddie pool. This is the 16th year Burr Park Pool has hosted its dog days. For two residents, it's six bucks for the first dog and three for any additional dogs. David Lieber has a pair of golden retrievers named Indy and Ellie. Despite them jumping into the deep end together like a synchronized dive team, Lieber likes watching the less experienced swimmers in the wading pool normally reserved for toddlers. And it's also nice to see the dogs watching the dogs that can swim and hopefully learning as well, because that's how our dogs learned, is by watching other larger dogs just sort of dive in. And not surprisingly, I saw the Basset Hound over by the waiting pool. That seems like a safe play there. Right, right, because I think if they went in this one, it might go right to the bottom. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Emma Meese is the assistant facilities supervisor for the park. She says they drain the chlorinated water and refill the pool before the dog days, so the pups don't have to swim in the same chemicals we do. I asked if the fur piles up in the filters. Uh, yes. We are constantly, I would say, every hour cleaning out the gutters because they are filled with hair. It's, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of gross. But Meese is a dog person, and her two dogs are running around out here, too. She's worked here for eight years. Today's actually my last day. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, that's, that's <laughs> sort of nice to have the last day be the dog day. The, these two days make the whole summer worth it. Not that I don't love working the whole summer, but it gets a little hot and tiring. But these last two days with all the dogs and seeing how much fun they have, it makes it all worth it. Judging by all the wagging tails, the dogs seem to agree. And as I got ready to leave, I spotted Jimmy Barker, a.k.a. Jimmy Buffett, with his black and white fur soaking wet after his very first swim. 